We now welcome Rachel Nessel with Victoria College. Welcome to Community Crossroads. Thanks for having me today. Our pleasure. Now, Rachel, talk to us about Spanish for Healthcare Professionals. This is a class you've taught for several years, not you yourself, yes. but it's been taught at the college. What do our healthcare professionals who may want to pick up some Spanish need to know? So we would love to have them come to our class. This is a short class. It's only about three weeks long and you won't learn any of the um, where's the bathroom, where is the library, any of those touristy topics. Um, you're not going to learn the uh, conjugations. It is just that survival Spanish to help medical professionals communicate effectively with their patients to increase the quality of the patient's care. Yeah, the, I, the first term I can think of is respirar, can you breathe? Yes, um, exactly. I'm sure there are so many terms. That there, there are, and, and that's what we're going to focus on in this class so that they can immediately take that knowledge back into their profession and hopefully help help people. And there are a, a lot of healthcare professionals in our region. I know the nursing program is a crown jewel. Uh, I think it's appropriate to say that for the college. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we want to make sure that the individuals in our community can help those Spanish-speaking individuals. Especially as our Hispanic population in Victoria County and across the state continues to grow. We, I think according to the 2020 census, we've reached 51% now here in Victoria County. Absolutely, so we want to make sure that we can serve those uh, people to the best of our abilities. So this is a very short class. It's a very inexpensive class. It's only $150 uh, and, and people can just come in. We have a great instructor, Susana Mirales, um, that is going to be teaching both the class in Victoria and Gonzalez for us. She's a native Spanish speaker. English was actually her second language, so she can relate uh, in many, many ways to the people that are going to be attending the class. And that flexibility to have it at the Gonzalez Center as well. So yes. if our viewers have a family member that's a healthcare professional in the San Antonio area even, you can benefit Absolutely. from this. Absolutely. We are very pleased to offer this class not only in Victoria, but in Gonzalez as well so that we can serve multiple counties. Well, let's go ahead and share that information for the Victoria courses. The registration deadline is coming up. That's at noon on April 12th, and the classes will be Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and that'll be at the Conference and Education Center. And could you remind us, what are the course dates for the Victoria classes? For, for Gonzalez? No, no, the Victoria. Oh, for, okay, for Victoria, it's going to be April 26th through May 12th. And like you said, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 6 to 8.30 p.m. And can I also mention Gonzalez? Of course. Okay, so Gonzalez, the registration deadline is coming up very soon. It's going to be March 23rd, and that class will be held April 5th through the 21st. And same dates, the Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 8.30 p.m. And who should people contact if they want to register or ask more questions? So they can call our office directly. The number is 361-582-2528. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rachel, yes. and thank you for all you do at Victoria College. We look forward to seeing you again on Community Crossroads. Thank you again for having me. And coming up, don't go anywhere. We hear from the Texas Parks and Wildlife on why it's essential to close three local bays to commercial oystering.